Hey guys, so I want to show you real quick my uh, John boat mount for my graph, how I set it up, how it works, and uh, how much it cost me. So let's go through it real quick. So first off, this isn't a uh, traditional mount. This is actually a mount for a computer monitor, a desk mount. Um, so it, it's got this uh, radial arm. It has a, uh, a piston in it. A gas piston and uh, so basically what I did is I drilled a hole right here in on my boat on this uh, metal trim piece and on the bottom there's a, a thread that sticks out and then there's this um, basically the nut and there's a plate right here kind of help stabilize the weight so it's a little bit wobbly not super I mean the boat frame shakes if I shake it um, so it's on there secure. I probably wouldn't put this on an outboard um, Or a boat with an outboard because it's, it's gonna be going a lot faster um, and you can see I've got this uh, Zip tie and this is retractable so you can use like a bungee cord or something To hold it from swinging around while you're driving. So that's important, but let's go through kind of how it works now all right, so my graph is a Garmin Echomat Plus SV7, seven inch screen. It actually has a quick disconnect here. Um, this is just keep it waterproof. But I'll show you, you, you set it right in these grooves and, uh, and it pops right in. So I don't typically travel with the graph on there, um, but when I get to my spot, I'll, I'll put it on I'll loosen this zip tie and then I'll show you kind of how it swings. So you got your graph all hooked up, everything's good to go, power on, took off that bungee or zip tie. And so now I have a full range of motion. Um, pretty much I can turn it any direction, bring it down, lift it up. Um, the reason I do this is so on my, I only have one graph on my boat. When I'm on the front trolling motor, I can kind of see what's going on, at least in the back of the boat, even though there is a 16 foot difference here. Um, it's still beneficial to be able to see your graph. And then when I'm out trolling with my rear trolling motor, I can see it, I can view side imaging, I can do whatever I need to there. And uh, it's real modular, if I wanna get out of the way, I can, um, but, so th this works really well for an electric setup, an electric boat. If you have a boat with an outboard, you're gonna be seeing a lot higher speeds. I don't know that there's something I would do to it, um, but since I'm traveling four miles an hour at max, I thought this would be something that works. It's cheap, it's about 20 bucks a mount like this. And I chose this one specifically because it was one of the longer reach ones, and I wanted to try and get as far as I could. And uh, I'll show you the the only modification I made besides to the boat was I had to create a little way to connect the graph to this mount. And I ended up just taking a, a piece of wood, so a little piece of cedar, a picket from a fence um, that I had laying around, and I'll show you that up close. All right, so here's how I mounted the graph to the monitor. Um, you can see right here, there's a screw with a washer and a bolt going through to a nut. Um, so that's how I attached this piece of wood over to this this arm. The graph actually has its own mount and you can't see it because the screws are hidden in this little circle part. Um, but it's basically screwed in to this piece of wood. And the screws are just um, small enough that they don't go to that metal plate back here. So guys, thanks for watching. This is my simple, easy DIY mount for my John boat, my electric John boat. Um, cost me about 20 bucks. Um, I can view my one graph from front or back. And I'll put a link in the description on this specific mount that I bought. Um, but you can use anything. This just give you an idea what I did. And hopefully you can figure out something that'll work for you. The quick disconnect graph is a good thing. The Garmin, I think uh, Hummingbird does it. I don't know if Lawrence does it too, but that way there's not a ton of weight on it, especially when you're traveling, when you're towing your boat.
But those are just some tips for you. I appreciate you watching. If you like it, subscribe. I should be doing a few more little how-tos here and there on my boat, fishing, whatever else. I uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks.